Well, I think I've collected every single Funko Pop I could ever possibly want, and I'll never have to buy a single one ever again. Okay, let's not get crazy here. So, the first wave of Wonder Woman 1984 Funko Pops has officially released. And while we were expecting spoilers for the film, just like we did with the cheetah appearing on a notebook that was leaked, we don't exactly get very many spoilers via the Funko Pops. Except for perhaps the cheetah one, which is silhouetted at the moment. Which makes sense, they kind of did a similar thing for the first film, for Ares, whose official design wasn't actually released until the film itself came out. To the point that all the merchandisers were given this design to make toys of. But there's a lot of really cool designs here. I like the new pose for Wonder Woman with her lasso, and of course her new jumping pose like at the end of the first film and probably the standout star among these is the golden eagle armor which looks absolutely beautiful now we had seen one of the golden eagle armor funko pops shown before but these are the first ones we've seen with the helmet itself and of course we get to see chris and wig pre cheetah transformation which i really legitimately love this design for the character the leopard print outfit looks absolutely gorgeous and they perfectly replicated diana's dress look from the film right down to her haircut but let's get real for a second we all know the real star of the show is steve trevor and his Man. But the biggest missing thing here is that we don't get a Maxwell Lord Funko Pop, which is bizarre because they have a cheetah one in her cheetah form listed, but not a Maxwell Lord one, which I'm sure we'll get to see that eventually down the line. I mean, they often release extra Funko Pops for movies that came out a year before for whatever reason, because the hype has already died down so you would get less sales for that Funko Pop, but what do I know? I'm not a billion dollar business, but I would have expected to see Maxwell Lord with the Chaos Crystal, considering that's not really a spoiler. We've already seen that in the trailers, but who knows? Maybe have a new form in the movie. Many of the DCEU movies actually release their villain Funko Pops as special editions or comic convention collectibles. Try saying that five times fast. I mean, who wouldn't want to spend all their hard-earned money on a special collectible of Steppenwolf? <sighs> Hashtag release the Snyder Cut. But what do you guys think? Let me know what you think in the comment section below. This has been Bovine Designs, and I'll catch you guys next time for more comic book news, animations, and reviews. Y'all have a good one.